What's up, everyone? This is your boy here, the FKG401 here with a breaking new sports video. But before I get into the bacon, eggs, and sausage of the video, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications when I will be able to do a video like this or talk about my other sports teams that I like. So there's a lot to really talk about with this trade over here. And, um,. Man, uh, the major breaking news at this hour, sure, I know uh, people in the United States are already talking about Donald Trump getting impeached, but this is a sports video, and we have a blockbuster trade in the NBA, which involves James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets, um, this disgruntled superstar guard who was not happy uh with the Houston Rockets but the Brooklyn Nets what they did was you know decided to push this saga with Kyrie Irving to the back burner and bring in the superstar and I love that the Oklahoma City uh Thunder Trio uh keeps getting together in different variations. Um We've seen Russell Westbrook and KD together. Uh, we've seen James Harden and Westbrook in Houston. And now you have this uh, James Harden and KD being reunited. And I don't know how Steve Nash is going to piece this together on the fly. Uh, Steve Nash, a first-year coach, has plenty on his plate with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Um, now he loses uh, Karis LeVert, and he has to figure out how to get three players to work together. Well, in perspective right now, two players. And will we ever see it become a big three or what Kyrie Irving's going to be doing over here? Um, we'll just wait and see what happens. As far as the Houston Rockets go, uh, the James Harden era in Houston comes to a close. Uh, I thought that there was going to be other breaking news coming out here, but um, that was just a notification on my phone. I mean, the Rockets, here's the thing with the Houston Rockets. They were always in the mix, and they almost beat. The Golden State Warriors, when Golden State was basically, uh, at the time, really that dominant NBA team. And you got to give props to the Houston Rockets. I mean, it was a bigger success than what you saw in the T Mac and Yao era. Uh, not as successful as, you know, Hakeem Olajuwon's era in Houston. But. With this news, too, they get Victor Alperado, and what I would char characterize as stuff, uh, maybe one or two of those picks, you know, work out, maybe not, but the most important thing that they get is a peace of mind. Now you have a rejuvenated John Wall, uh, you got Boogie Cousins over there, uh, Christian Wood, and Victor Alperado. And above all else, no James Harden bumming everyone the fuck out and eating everyone's chips while they're not looking. Uh, that alone is worth about five wins, in my personal opinion. And I actually think I love this trade for the Pacers. Um, the Pacers, uh, meanwhile, you know, uh, when it comes to... Uh, what they get here is uh, Chris Karis LeVert here. And, you know, the Nets, you know, they get the star power in Harden, but they have all the pressure in the world to win right this very second. Uh, the Pacers, you know, they get away from Victor Operato's uh, knees and acquire one of the more intriguing, under-the-radar scorers in the NBA. Uh, Indiana, to me... They still have some interesting pieces that they can package and fill out their roster around uh, 
Sabanis, uh, Malcolm, Brogun, and Levert. Uh, when it comes to the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they got Jarrett Allen and uh, Teron Prince uh, in this mega trip, uh, mega trade. Um, with the uh, Jarrett Allen, uh, with them getting Jarrett Allen, they could run a true five center lineup. Um, forget Sexlin, you know, give me Jarrett, Jarrett, uh, Jarrett Allen. Uh, try saying that fast. Uh, Thorn Maker, uh, Javal McGee, Andre Demond, and Larry Nance. Uh, that's basketball. That the way that uh, James Nasmith always wanted it to be played. Um, Philadelphia. I mean, not involved in this trade, but you know they're trying to get Ben Simmons and. The chance, or they've changed in their coat, in their couch cushions together, and try to nab uh, James Harden. Uh, but one day, you know, six fans, uh, one day you won't have to keep trying to force these uh, square pigs into round holes. Uh, to me, I think the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying it again. They are without a doubt going to be the team to beat. Uh, in the Eastern Conference, I mean, and right now, to me, uh, is a true threat to the Milwaukee Bucks. So, uh, let me all know um, your thoughts on this trade. Put it in the comment section below. Uh, I am out. Peace.